Hey guys, so in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to use the diminished scale. The diminished scale, pretty brutal scale for writing uh, awesome metal riffs or even solos. First, I'm going to show it to you linear. So we're going to go on the open E string. We're going to go open E, second fret, F sharp, third fret, G, fifth fret, A, 6th fret, B flat, 8th fret, C, 9th fret, C sharp, 11th fret, D sharp, and 12th fret is E. Okay, so it's, I know like I mixed up like flats and sharps in there, but it's, it's a bit strange how this scale works, so we kind of go outside of the, you know, sharps only or flats only realm. All right, so, so first off, when we play this, we have like that, that normal. So you find that a lot in a lot of metal riffs, and sometimes they're using the blues uh, scale to play stuff like that. But once we get up into this territory, then it really starts getting crazy because like this D sharp and this C sharp, would both be in the major, E major scale, but it's kind of combining like the blues scale, the uh, blues minor scale with the major scale. It's, a, it's an interesting little combination. So we get rid of the fifth completely, so you never get this. Right? You'll only get this. But of course, you know, if we're playing metal, we can definitely do that if we want to, play like those power chords there. All right, so, you know, we can just go. get some of those really nasty sounding chords in there too. So just remember like, uh, so those are our notes, right? So it's E, F sharp, G, A, B flat, C, C sharp, D sharp, and then E again, right? So if we were to take that, let's say we played here on the, let's start on the A string. We're gonna go seventh fret. That's our E again. Then we're gonna go nine, 10, then we're gonna go up to the D string. We're gonna go seven, eight, 10. Now up to the G string, and we're gonna go six, eight, nine. So now we have that pattern. Which then we can come up with some pretty cool stuff, some arpeggio stuff. Now, uh, this is also a scale that, that is used a lot in black metal. So um, you could take some of this tremolo picking idea and then start using that with the scale like. If you wanted to do that, right? And then just go. So it's a pretty cool scale to use and do all that kind of stuff with. I love the way the arpeggios come out in this. All right, so mess around with that. Uh, let me know what your thoughts were on this. Was this pretty cool scale to do? Uh, use it for some metal stuff. You can. Let me know what your thoughts are on this scale, if you've ever used it before, and um, 
Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video if you found it helpful. Subscribe to the channel if you're watching this on YouTube. I'll see you guys next time.